Rangers for Joshish 2K. You requested this like a month and a half ago. I'm finally ready. I'm so sorry. Here we go. Fair warning. I am well aware of the popularity, the immense popularity of this show in its heyday. Having said that, I may have seen a total of four episodes of Power Rangers, so I am not fully versed in the lore and all of the characters. I have skimmed this wiki, and we are about to embark on a full Power Rangers wiki article reading, which includes the synopsis and plots for all 27 Power Rangers series, seasons, I should say, and I found them quite entertaining when I was just perusing them. The reason I'm saying this is, I'm warning you, there will be mispronunciations, and I'm looking forward to it. You can correct me in the comments if you like. Here we go. Power Rangers. Power Rangers is an American entertainment and merchandising franchise built around a live-action superhero television series based on the Japanese tokusatsu franchise Super Sentai. Produced first by Sabin Entertainment, second by BVS Entertainment, later by Sabin Brands, and today by SCG Power Rangers LLC and its parent company, Hasbro. The Power Rangers television series takes much of its footage from the Super Sentai television series produced by Toei Company. The first Power Rangers entry, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, debuted on August 28, 1993, and helped launch the Fox Kids programming block of the 1990s, during which it catapulted into popular culture, along with a line of action figures and other toys by Bandai. By 2001, the media franchise had generated over $6 billion in toy sales. Despite initial criticism that its action violence targeted child audiences, the franchise has been commercially successful. As of 2021, Power Rangers consists of 28 television seasons and 21 different themed series and three theatrical films released in 1995, 1997, and 2017. In 2010, Heim Sabin, creator of the series, regained ownership of the franchise. It was previously owned for seven years by the Walt Disney Company. In 2018, Hasbro was named the new master toy licensee. Shortly afterwards, Saban Brands and Hasbro announced that the latter would acquire the franchise and the rest of the former's entertainment assets in a $522 million deal, with the first products from Hasbro becoming available in early 2019. The premise. Since Power Rangers derives most of its footage from the Super Sentai series, it features many hallmarks that distinguish it from other superhero series. Each series revolves around a team of youths recruited and trained by a mentor to morph into the eponymous Power Rangers, able to use special powers and pilot immense assault machines called Zords to overcome the periodic antagonists. In the original series, Mighty Morphin, the wizard Zordon recruits teenagers with attitude against Rita Repulsa. When morphed, the rangers become powerful superheroes wearing color-coded, skin-tight spandex suits and helmets with opaque visors, identical except in individual rangers' color helmet design, and minor styling such as incorporating a skirt. Morphed rangers generally possess enhanced strength, durability, agility, and combat prowess. Some possess superhuman or psychic abilities such as super speed, element manipulation, extra sensory perception, or invisibility. In addition, each individual ranger has a unique weapon, as well as common weaponry used for ground fighting. When enemies grow to incredible size, as nearly all do, rangers use individual zords that combine into a larger mega zord. Rangers teams operate in teams of three to five, with more rangers joining the team later. Each team of rangers, with a few exceptions, obeys a general set of conventions outlined at the beginning of Mighty Morphin and implies 
powers throughout many of the other series. Power Rangers may not use their Ranger powers for personal gain on or for escalating a fight unless the enemy does so, nor may the Power Rangers disclose their identities to the general public. The penalty for disobeying these rules is the loss of their power. As in Super Sentai, the color palette of each Power Rangers team changes every series. Only red and blue appear in every Ranger team, while a yellow Ranger has been present in every season except Power Rangers Dino Charge and Power Rangers Dino Fury. Other colors and designations also appear throughout the series. A Ranger's color designation also influences their wardrobe throughout the series. Civilian clothing often matches Ranger color. The History Adapting the Super Sentai Series the idea of adapting Sentai series for America emerged in the late 1970s after the agreement between Toei Company and Marvel Comics to exchange concepts to adapt them to their respective audiences. Toei, with Marvel Productions, created the Japanese Spider-Man television series and produced three Super Sentai series which had great success in Japan. Marvel and Stan Lee tried to sell the Sun Vulcan series to American television stations, including HBO, but found no buyers, and the agreement ended. Several years later, another idea to adapt to Super Sentai began in the 80s when Haim Saban made a business trip to Japan in which, during his stay at the hotel, the only thing that was being transmitted on his television was the Japanese series Super Sentai. At that time, Saban was fascinated by the concept of five people masked in spandex suits fighting monsters, so in 1985, he produced the pilot episode of Bio-Man, an American adaptation of Judenshi Bio-Man, which was rejected by several of the largest American television stations. His idea only took off in 1992, as Saban came to Fox Kids, whose president, Margaret Loesch, had previously helmed Marvel Productions and thus was familiar with Super Sentai. Production of Power Rangers episodes involves extensive localization of and revision of original Super Sentai source material to incorporate American culture and conform to American television standards. Rather than making an English dub or translation of the Japanese footage, Power Rangers programs consist of scenes featuring English-speaking actors spliced with scenes featuring either Japanese actors dubbed into English or the action scenes from the Super Sentai series featuring the Rangers fighting monsters or the giant robot Zord and Megazord battles with English dubbing. In some series, original fight scenes are filmed to incorporate characters or items unique to the Power Rangers production. Like many of Saban Entertainment previous ventures in localizing Japanese television for a Western audience, the plot character names, and other names usually differ greatly from the source footage. Though a few seasons have stayed close to the story of the original Super Sentai season, the American arm of Bandai, who co-produced the Sentai shows and manufactured its toys, worked with the adaptation of the Japanese names. A brainstorming among executives led to Power Rangers and for the specific show that would be made, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, evoking the transformation sequences. The meeting also brought up the term Zord for the giant robots to invoke both the sword that the Megazord carried and the dinosaurs that were the team's theme. Along with adapting the villains from the Super Sentai counterparts, most Power Rangers series also feature villains with no Sentai counterpart. Generally, the primary antagonist of a Power Rangers series, for example, Lord Zed, Dibatox, etc., are not adapted from the Sentai. Exceptions to this include Mighty Morphin, Zeo, Lightspeed Rescue, and a few others which only use villains adapted from the 
Japanese shows. The series that began the franchise, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, an American adaptation of the 92 Japanese Super Sentai series, Kyoryu Sentai Zaigu Ranger, began broadcasting as part of the Fox Kids block of programming that aired on the Fox Network. It lasted for three seasons from 93 to 96. Hasbro announced National Power Rangers Day to be celebrated annually on August 28th. Broadcast history. Saban Entertainment distributed Power Rangers from 93 until the end of 2001, and Fox broadcast the series until the fall of 02. The Walt Disney Company purchased the franchise as part of a buyout of Fox Family Worldwide that took place in 01. Fox Family Worldwide subsequently became ABC Family Worldwide, Inc. This buyout also saw Saban Entertainment becoming BVS Entertainment in 2002 from News Corporation, Fox's parent company, and Heim Saban. The show continued to air on Fox Kids until its replacement by the four kids entertainment produced Foxbot. From September 2002, the series had aired on various Disney-owned networks, including the ABC Kids program block. ABC Family, Toon, Disney, and Jetix branded outlets worldwide. When Wild Force ended, Disney moved production of the franchise from Los Angeles to New Zealand. This resulted in the closure of MMPR Productions and the dismissal of many members of the production. Jetix blocks would air in the U.S. on ABC Family and Toon Disney. On February 12th, 09, Toon Disney was replaced with Disney XD, with Power Rangers being removed from the new channel's lineup. Several ABC affiliate broadcasting groups, including Hearst Television, declined to air the series due to the lack of FCC-compliant educational and informational content. The Saban era seasons used the Saban's Power Rangers moniker. Although Mighty Morphin, Zeo, and Turbo occasionally used the Saban Entertainment wordmark, albeit mostly for advertising, this did not become commonplace until In Space. Wild Force also used the Saban's Power Rangers moniker pre-production prior to the Disney buyout before production began. Since the reacquisition of Power Rangers by Saban in 2010, this practice has continued once again, starting with Samurai and will continue with the Hasbro era seasons. From 05 until its discontinuation in 07, Jetix aired reruns of the series branded as Power Rangers Generations and showcasing select episodes from Mighty Morphin through Dino Thunder. 08's Power Rangers Jungle Fury was originally set to be the final season, but due to obligations with Bandai, Disney produced one more season, Power Rangers RPM. An article in the New Zealand Herald published on March 7th, 2009 identified RPM as the last season of the Power Rangers run. Production manager Sally Campbell stated in an interview, At this stage, we will not be shooting another season. A September 1st, 09 revision to Disney A to Z, the official encyclopedia by Disney's head archivist Dave Smith, states that production of new episodes of Power Rangers ceased in 2009. Production of Power Rangers ceased and the last series by BVS Entertainment RPM ended on December 26th, 2009. On October 1st, 2009, Bandai released a press release that Disney would rebroadcast Mighty Morphin Power Rangers starting in January 2010 on ABC Kids in lieu of a new series using footage from the 2009 Super Sentai television series. A new toy line accompanied the series and appeared in stores in the later part of 2009. On August 14th, 010, ABC's over-the-air Power Rangers telecast ended on the network's West Coast affiliates due to programming preemptions. The network stopped broadcasting the program altogether two weeks.
weeks later on August 28th, and subsequently returned the program's time slot to its affiliates. On May 12th, 2010, Haim Saban bought back the Power Rangers franchise from Disney for $43 million and announced plans to produce a new season of the television series. The 18th season, Samurai, began airing on Nickelodeon on February 7th, 2011, with the previous episodes beginning rebroadcast on Nicktoons later that year. It was also announced that Saban plans to make a new Power Rangers movie. On July 2nd, 2012, it was announced that Saban Brands would launch a Saturday morning cartoon block on the CW called Vortex. On August 25th, 2012, that would air Power Rangers Lost Galaxy. The series was removed before the season even finished, ending up doing so on the Vortex website. The block itself ended in fall 2014. To commemorate the series' 20th anniversary, Nickelodeon began airing Power Rangers Megaforce on February 2nd, 2013, featuring all of the past Rangers from the series' 20-year history in the last episode of the season. On October 1st, 2013, Saban Brands announced that it had extended agreements with Nickelodeon and Bandai America Incorporated through 2016 for its globally recognized Power Rangers franchise. The 90s are all that aired Mighty Morphin Power Rangers as part of Mighty Morphin Weekend in 2013. And I'm getting incredibly hot. I need to take off this jacket. In May 2014, Saban Brands and Lionsgate announced that they are planning to produce a new Power Rangers feature film and would hopefully launch a Power Rangers film franchise. The movie, titled simply Power Rangers, was released on March 24th, 2017 with mixed reviews and a failure at the box office. As a result, the future of a cinematographic universe for the franchise is uncertain. R.J. Seiler, who starred in Power Rangers, stated on August 20th, 2018, that Hasbro has yet to announce any plans for a movie sequel. On July 11th, 2019, during a Reddit AMA, Dacker Montgomery revealed that the studio had plans to produce a second reboot without him and the rest of the cast and the director returning. On December 13th, 2019, it was reported that Jonathan Entwistle is in early talks to direct the reboot with Patrick Burley being set to write the screenplay. The plot will reportedly involve time travel and will be set in the 1990s. In January 2016, Saban and Nickelodeon extended their broadcast partnership through 2018. In February 2018, the companies announced that Power Rangers would continue airing on Nickelodeon through 2021. Hasbro's long-term plans for the franchise include introducing a Power Rangers cinematic universe with tied-in television, films, and many other forms of entertainment to accompany the main series of traditional Super Sentai adaptations. In late April 2021, actor Chance Perez announced in an interview that a second season of Dino Fury and the 29th season overall would premiere on Netflix in 2022, which would be the first season of the show to air exclusively online through a streaming service. However, Netflix would respond that they do not have anything to announce for season two at the moment. Meanwhile, new episodes of the series moved to the streamer on June 15th, 2021. The television series. The first six seasons, beginning with Mighty Morphin Power Rangers and ending with In Space, followed an overarching, evolving storyline. The second season began the annual tradition of the Power Rangers acquiring new Zords to battle enemies while the core suits from the first season were used, except for that of the White Ranger. With the fourth season, Zeo Power Rangers 
news began following the Super Sentai series practice of annual ranger suit changes. Although the seventh season, Lost Galaxy, had ties with the preceding season, it was otherwise the first season to follow a self-contained story, as with later seasons of the show up until the 17th RPM. The season also began the tradition of team-up episodes featuring rangers, villains, and other characters from past seasons. Beginning with the 18th season, Samurai, the show returned to a multi-season format similar to Mighty Morphin Power Rangers with self-contained storylines told across two seasons each. During its second season and the 27th season overall, Beast Morphers would later reveal itself to be a direct sequel to RPM. And here we go. Buckle up. We're going to go over all the seasons, starting with Season 1, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. When the evil witch Rita Repulsa and her minions Goldar, Squad, Babu, and Finster are freed from their imprisonment on the moon, the wizard Zordon, with the help of his assistant Alpha Five, enlists five teenagers, Jason Lee Scott, Trini Kwan, Billy Cranston, Kimberly Hart, and Zack Taylor to become the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers to battle Rita's invasion of the Earth, using their power coins and dino swords to combat her monsters. Rita soon creates her own evil Power Ranger by brainwashing a recent transfer student, Tommy Oliver, but the Power Rangers are able to free him from her control, and he joins their side. Season 2, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, July 21st, 94 through May 20th, 95. Rita's superior Lord Zed returns to the Earth to take over for Rita's incompetence, imprisoning her once more. His new monsters prove too powerful for the Dino Zords, leading Zordon to empower them into the Thunder Zords. Tommy eventually loses the Green Ranger powers, but comes back as the new White Ranger and becomes the new leader of the team. Jason, Trini, and Zack leave to join a youth conference in Switzerland and are replaced by Rocky DeSantos, Aisha Campbell, and Adam Park, respectively, and Rita returns and marries Lord Zed. Season 3, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, September 2nd, 95 through November 27th, 95. Rita's brother, Rita Revolto, sorry, Rita's brother, Rito Revolto, comes to Earth and destroys the Power Rangers' Power Coins and Thunder Zords. The Power Rangers seek out Ninjor, creator of the Power Coins for the new Power Coins, giving them new ninja powers and the Ninja Zords, and later the Shogun Zords. Rita also enchants a new Australian exchange student, Cat Hillard, into slowly draining Kimberly of her Ranger powers until the spell is broken. When Kimberly ultimately leaves to train for the Olympics, she entrusts Cat to be her replacement amongst the Power Rangers. Season three and a half, Mighty Morphin Alien Rangers, February 5th, 96 through February 17th, 96. When Rita's father, Master Vile, comes to Earth, he turns back time, turning the Power Rangers and many of their friends into children. Zordon calls upon his protégés, the alien rangers of Aquitar, to fill in for the rangers' duties. While the team of Delphine, Corcus, Sestro, Titius, and Ariko protect the Earth from Master Vile's monsters, they also assist the rangers in building a machine that would return the child rangers to their proper ages. Unfortunately, only Billy is able to return to normal, as the machine, which required the power coins as a power source, is stolen by Rito and Goldar. As a result, Rita and Zed choose to destroy the coins. The child rangers then travel throughout time to gather the fragments of the Zeo crystal to bring time back to normal. During her journey in Africa, Aisha meets 
Virginia Sloan and realizes that she can do more to help stop the sickness plaguing the wildlife. She sends Tanya back with her piece of the Zeo crystal. And season four, Power Rangers Zeo. With the Zeo crystal restored and time brought back to normal, the Rangers are caught off guard when Goldar and Rito steal the crystal and destroy the command center. Although Zordon and Alpha are fine and their headquarters rebuilds itself into the power chamber, they warn the Rangers that the Machine Empire is planning on conquering the Earth, and the Rangers must use the power of the Zeo crystal to become the Zeo Rangers to battle them. Billy decides to use his scientific prowess to work on the Zeo Zords and other machinery, and his presence in the destruction of the command center leaves him unable to receive the powers of the Gold Ranger, Trey of Triforia. But Jason returns instead and gets the Gold Ranger powers himself, although they turn out to be temporary. Billy soon begins to age rapidly, a side effect from the regenerator he used to return to his normal age and leaves Earth to be healed on Aquatar. Season 5, Power Rangers Turbo. The space pirate Diva Tox sets her sights on conquering the Earth, while the Turbo Rangers and eventually the intergalactic police officer, the Blue Centurion, combating her monsters. After an injury, Rocky retires from being a Power Ranger and chooses 12-year-old Justin Stewart as his replacement. Tommy, Adam, Tanya, and Cat soon follow, choosing TJ Johnson, Carlos Valerte, Ashley Hammond, and Cassie Chan as their replacements, who are also assisted by the Phantom Ranger. Zordon and Alpha 5 also leave for the former's home planet of Eldar, putting Demetria in his place, as well as the upgraded Model Alpha 6. Season 6, Power Rangers in Space, Space, Space. After Diva Dox succeeds in destroying the power chamber, she is called off the planet to participate in Dark Spectre's evil alliance in conquering the universe. TJ, Carlos, Ashley, and Cassie, along with Alpha-6, travel into outer space to try to stop him and meet up with Andros, an extraterrestrial human from the planet KO-35, who they join to become the Space Rangers to stop Dark Spectre and his protege, Astronema, who was once Andros' sister. They eventually awaken Andro's friend Zane, the Silver Ranger, and free Astronema from the Dark Spectre's control, reverting her back to Karoni. After the United Alliance of Evil invades Earth, Andros meanwhile finds Zordon, who has been captured by Dark Spectre aboard the Dark Fortress in space. Upon Zordon's orders, Andros reluctantly sacrifices him and shatters his energy tube, releasing a wave of energy that vaporizes Dark Spectre and most of his armies, purifies Lord Zed, Rita, and Diva Dox, and frees the universe from the Dark Spectre's control. Season 7, Power Rangers Lost Galaxy the governments of Earth decide to send out an experimental space colony Terra Venture, on which Leo Corbett stows away to join his brother Mike on the journey to find new planets. When it encounters a wormhole on the moon, Leo, Mike, Kai Chen, and Kendrix Morgan go through it and encounter Maya and her planet Mirinoi, which is under attack from Scorpius and his minions, led by Drakeen. After Leo, Mike, and Kendricks are stranded, Kai commanders the Astro Megaship along with its mechanic Damon Henderson and Alpha-6 to save them. Mike, Kai, Damon, Maya, and Kendricks are chosen by the Quasar Sabres to fight Scorpius, but Mike seemingly falls to his death, leaving Leo to act as the leader of the Galaxy Rangers in his stead back on Terra Venture. Mike later returns after it is revealed the Magna Defender has been using his body as a vessel to fight Scorpius's monsters along with the Galaxy Rangers. After the death of the Magna Defender, 
Defender. Mike harnesses the Magna Defender's powers himself. Mid-season, Deviant revives the Psycho Rangers and the Space Rangers return to join forces with the Galaxy Rangers to take down the Psycho Rangers again. Kendrix ultimately risks her life to save the pink Space Ranger, Cassie, and is killed by a backlash blast from the Savage Sword, which was draining Cassie's life force. The pink Quasar Saber is later found by Caroni, sister of the Red Space Ranger, Andros, and she is chosen by Kendrix's spirit to become the new Pink Ranger. They later must fight Captain Mutiny and his space pirates after they are transported to the Lost Galaxy. Season 8, Power Rangers Lightspeed Rescue. Carter Grayson, Chad Lee, Joel Rawlings, Kelsey Winslow, and Dana Mitchell are hired by Operation Lightspeed to protect Mariner Bay from a group of evil demons led by Queen Banshira from taking over the world by fighting as the Lightspeed Rangers. They are later joined by Dana's long-lost brother, Ryan. Season 9, Power Rangers Time Force. When the mutant Rancic and his daughter Nadira escape custody of the Time Force police in the year 3000 by stealing the very prison, they travel back in time to 2001, but not before seemingly killing the Red Time Force Ranger Alex, his subordinates Jen Scotts, Lucas Kendall, Katie Walker, and Trip from Planet Xebria travel back in time to 2001 and seek out Alex's ancestor Wes Collins as his DNA unlocks the Time Force Morphers, allowing all of them to become the Time Force Power Rangers to recapture the mutants Rancic uses to thwart them and stop the biolab who ended up creating him. They are ultimately joined by Eric Myers of the present-day organization The Silver Guardians who uses the Quantum Morpher and Quantasaurus Rex to join the fight. Season 10, Power Rangers Wild Force. Jungle-raised Cole Evans, Air Force pilot Taylor Earnhardt, amateur bowler Max Cooper, florist Danny Delgado, and university student Alyssa and Relay are chosen by Princess Shyla of the floating island Animaria to be the Wild Force Power Rangers to fight the evil orgs. They are later joined by Merrick Ballatin, one of the original Wild Force Power Rangers who used a forbidden power to defeat the Master Org 3,000 years in the past after he is freed from the power in the present. Season 11, Power Rangers Ninja Storm, Shane Clark, Tori Hansen and Dustin Brooks are bumbling students of Kanoi Watanabe's Wind Ninja Academy, but when Lothar kidnaps the other students, they are all that remain to protect the Earth from Lothar's evil space ninjas as the Wind Rangers. They are also joined in battle by adopted brothers Hunter and Blake Bradley of the rival Thunder Ninja Academy as the Thunder Rangers and Kanoi's son Cam as the Samurai Rangers. Season 12, Power Rangers Dino Thunder. When the evil Mesogog appears to bring the Earth back to the Mesozoic Age, Dr. Tommy Oliver of Reefside reluctantly enlists his students Connor McKnight, Ethan James, and Kira Ford as the Dino Rangers to battle Mesogog. Tommy later joins them as a ranger once more, as well as Trent Fernandez Mercer, adopted son of Tommy's once colleague Dr. Anton Mercer, whose body serves as Mesogog's vessel. Season 13, Power Rangers SPD. In the year 2025, the Space Patrol Delta Police Force protects the galaxy from the Trubian Empire's forces. When their A Squad of Power Rangers fall in battle, B Squad members Sky Tate, Bridge Carson, and Sidney Drew are joined by rookies Jack Landers and Elizabeth Z. Delgado under the direction of Commander Anubis Kruger to be the 
SPD Power Rangers. They are later joined by Sam, a young boy they save from the Trubian Empire, who in the future becomes the Omega Ranger, as well as Kruger, who becomes the Shadow Ranger, and technical expert Dr. Cat Manx as the Cat Ranger. Season 14, Power Rangers Mystic Force. The sorceress Udonna enlists the help of Chip Thorne, the Roka sisters Madison and Vita, Xander Bly, and New Guy in town Nick Russell to become the Mystic Force Power Rangers to protect Briarwood and its nearby magical forest from the evil forces of Morticon, who plans on taking over both the magical and human worlds. They are eventually joined by Udonna's old friend Dagger Dawn, who becomes the Solaris Knight, aided by his genie, Genji, as well as Udonna herself as the White Ranger, and her long-lost husband, Leanbo, who has been trapped as the evil Korog since falling in battle twenty years prior. Season 15, Power Rangers Operation Overdrive. While the adventurer Andrew Hartford tasks Will Aston, Dax Lowe, Ronnie Robinson, Rose Ortiz, and reluctantly his own son Mac to act as the Overdrive Rangers, searching for the jewels of the Corona Aurora before either Flurious or Moltor, and later Camdor and the Fear Cats can. They are later joined by Tizon, a member of a search and rescue team from the planet Mercuria, who has a past with the Fear Cats. Season 16, Power Rangers Jungle Fury. The Paizua, or the Order of the Claw, has protected the world from the evil spirit of Dai Shi for nearly 10,000 years. When Jared, Lily Chillman, and Theo Martin are chosen by Master Mao to guard the container of Dai Shi's spirit, Jared is deemed unworthy and replaced by rookie or cub member Casey Rose. Angered by this slight, Jared attempts to steal Dai Shi's vessel, only to become possessed by his spirit. Mao, who falls in battle, entrusts the best student, RJ, to lead the others as the Jungle Fury Power Rangers to stop Dai Shi from taking over the world. RJ later joins them in battle as the Wolf Ranger, as does Dominic Hargan, a former Paizua student who went to find his path in life and becomes the Rhino Ranger. Season 17, Power Rangers RPM. A malicious and rapidly evolving computer virus known as Vengix has ravaged the Earth, leaving the surviving members of humanity to huddle for safety in the force field protected city of Corinth. To stop Vengix's attacks, led by his humanoid warrior Tenea, the mysterious Dr. K enlists Scott Truman, Flynn McAllister, Sumner, Lansdowne, and reluctantly Ziggy Grover and the apparent cyborg Dylan as the RPM Ranger operators. They are later joined by Jem and Gemma, two twins of nebulous origins whom, like Dr. K, were kept at the corrupt military think tank codenamed Alphabet Soup. Both were initially presumed dead during Vengex's attack. RV, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, a rebroadcast of the first 32 episodes of the first season of Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, with an updated opening sequence and visual effects added to the original episodes. Season 18, Power Rangers Samurai. To prevent Master Zandrid's Nihiloc forces from taking over the Earth, Mentor G of the Sheba House trains Jaden Sheba, the descendant of the original Red Samurai Ranger, as well as fellow Samurai descendants Kevin, Mia, Mike, and Emily, in the ways of the Samurai to fight as the Samurai Power Rangers. They are later joined by Jaden's childhood friend Antonio Garcia as the Gold Ranger, who is instrumental in unlocking the group's super mode. Season 20, Power Rangers Mega Force. Zordon's protege, Gosei, calls on high school students Troy Burroughs, Noah Carver, Jake Halling, Emma Goodall, and Gia Moran to become the Mega Force Power Rangers to battle the invasion of the War Star Empire. They are later joined by the Robo Knight in his fight against the toxic mutants. With the War Star Empire's force 
forces increasing their invasion, Gose gives the rangers new morphers to assume super mega mode, allowing them to call on the powers of all the previous power rangers. They are joined by Orion, the last remaining citizen from the planet of Andresia. Season 22, Power Rangers Dino Charge. When the intergalactic bounty hunter Sledge comes to Earth looking for the inner gems entrusted to an alien known as Keeper who lost them during the asteroid bombardment that resulted in the extinction of the dinosaurs, the Dino Charge Power Rangers are formed to wield the inner gems and keep them out of the hands of Sledge and later a sinister outlaw known as Snide. Tyler Navarro, Chase Randall, Riley Griffin, Shelby Watkins, and Coda, a Neanderthal who was frozen in time, are entrusted with the prehistoric powers of the Energems, and are later joined by Sir Ivan of Xandar, a knight from the kingdom of Xandar who was previously trapped in the gold Energem, as well as Amber Beach Museum proprietor Kendall Morgan. Xandar's current prince, Prince Philip III, Tyler's father, James, and Keeper's protege, Zenowing. Season 24, Power Rangers Ninja Steel. The Ninja Steel Power Rangers are assigned to protect an item called the Ninja Nexus Prism from the forces of Galvanax, the champion of the universe's most popular intergalactic game show, Galaxy Warriors, who wants the prism, which contains six magical ninja power stars to become an invincible force of destruction. Brody Romero, Preston Tien, Calvin Maxwell, Haley Foster, and Sarah Thompson must master the arsenal of throwing stars, zords, and megazords, all made from the titular legendary ninja steel, to stop Galvanax's warrior contestants sent to Earth to retrieve the prism, the steel, and the power stars for him. It isn't much longer until Brody's long-lost brother Aiden is found, going under the country musician alias Levi Weston to stay off of Galvanax's radar. Levi then becomes the gold ranger of the team. After Galvanax's defeat, his former general Madam Odious rises from the shadows with her own sinister agenda. Season 26, Power Rangers Beast Morphers. In the future, a secret agency called Grid Battle Force combines a newly discovered substance called Morph X with animal DNA to infuse into Devin Daniels, Ravi Shaw, and Zoe Reeves to become Power Rangers Beast Morphers team. With powerful gear, zords, and robotic companions known as beast bots, the rangers must fight off an evil sentient computer virus named Evox, who is bent on taking over the source of all ranger power. The Morphin Grid itself, along with his cohort, Scrozzle, and evil clones of original ranger candidates Blaze and Roxy. Child prodigy and Grid Battle Force scientist Nate Silva later becomes the Gold Ranger after he is kidnapped and forced to build a body for Evox, which instead becomes Steel, a half-human beast bot with the ability to become the Silver Ranger. And lastly, Season 28, Power Rangers Dino Fury. When a threatening army of powerful alien beings known as the Sporix are unleashed on Earth, a brand new team of Power Rangers are recruited to deal with the threat. Led by the extraterrestrial knight Zato of the planet Rathcon, he enlists aspiring archaeologist Ollie Akana, journalist Amelia Jones, and the Garcia step siblings athlete Izzy and musician Javi to wield the power of the dinosaurs to defend Earth while also battling the mysterious Void Knight, an aggressive and bullheaded warrior from another world, hoping to use the Sporix for his own purpose of reawakening his comatose lover, Santara, despite the dangerous power the Sporix possesses. 
team is later joined by the Gold Ranger Aeon, one of Zato's fellow knights of Rafcon and the only surviving knight alongside Zato. As for feature films, the Power Rangers franchise has also generated three theatrical motion pictures. The first two are distributed by 20th Century Fox, and the third film released in 2017 by Lionsgate. A new Power Rangers movie that will be a new reboot is in development by Paramount Pictures Entertainment One and Netflix. The Distribution Power Rangers has long had a success in international markets and continues to air in many countries, with the exception of New Zealand, where the series filming takes place as of 2009. As of 2006, Power Rangers aired at least 65 times a week in more than 40 worldwide markets. Many markets carry or have carried the series on their respective Fox or later Jetix Disney XD channels, or have syndicated the program on regional children's channels or blocks, either dubbed into the local language or broadcast in the original English. Since the 20 acquisition by Saban Brands. International television distribution rights for Power Rangers have been managed by Mar Vista Entertainment until early 2019. Broadcast in East Asian territories has been treated differently from in other international markets due to the prevalence and familiarity of the Super Sentai brand originating in Japan. Power Rangers was briefly banned in Malaysia for supposedly encouraging the use of drugs because it contained the word morphine in its title, which could be associated with morphine. The show eventually aired without the offending word. In Japan, many Power Rangers television seasons and movies were dubbed into Japanese for television and video, with the voice actors often pulled from past Super Sentai casts, leading to the English-dubbed action sequences being redubbed or restored back to Japanese as well. Power Rangers Mystic Force is the latest season to be broadcast in Japan on Toei Channel in January 2014, with the Magger Ranger cast voicing their counterparts. After broadcast of Power Rangers ended in South Korea with Wild Force, Bandai of Korea started airing dubbed Super Sentai series under the Power Ranger brand on JTV. Some seasons of Super Sentai broadcast in South Korea have similarly named titles as their American counterparts such as Power Ranger Dino Thunder for Abba Ranger in 2007 and Power Ranger SPD in place of Decca Ranger. And for home media on VHS, 3 million Power Rangers video cassettes had been sold in the U.S. by early 94. And there are 33 Power Rangers DVD collections in the U.S. And internationally additional DVD releases have occurred, such as Lightspeed Rescue, Time Force, and Wild Force in Germany, and as free DVDs attached to the JetX magazine published in the UK. Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Season 1, 2, 3, Power Rangers Zeo, Power Rangers Turbo, and In Space have been released in Germany as well as in both English and German, with Power Rangers Lost Galaxy only in German. Additionally, Ninja Storm, Dino Thunder, SPD, Mystic Force, and Operation Overdrive saw complete box set releases in the UK. In France, Mighty Morphin Season 1 and Season 2 have been released in their entirety in Episode in five episode DVD volumes, and the first 25 episodes of season three were released in May 08. In Italy, Mighty Morphin, Zio, Dino Thunder, and SPD have appeared in their entirety. Zio, SPD were made available as commercial DVDs, while Mighty Morphin and 
Dino Thunder were issued as bi-weekly volumes at newsstands. The iTunes store previously made Power Rangers episodes available, part of Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, all of Power Rangers SPD, and the first 26 episodes of Power Rangers Mystic Force. Subsequent seasons and episodes of the program also made their appearances in the iTunes store, but as of July 2009, Turbo, a Power Rangers movie, is the only Power Rangers film available. In 2012, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Season 1, Volumes 1 and 2 were released on iTunes to coincide with the DVD release. As of February 2013, all three seasons of MMPR were released on iTunes. On June 15, 2011, all episodes of Power Rangers from Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Season 1 to Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Reversion were made available for instant streaming on Netflix. In 2015, Power Rangers became available on the iTunes Store. In 2021, all episodes of Power Rangers, excluding Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Season 1 and Power Rangers Beast Morphers, were removed from Netflix. Netflix. On March 12, 2012, Shout Factory announced a home video distribution deal with Saban, which includes the first 17 series of Power Rangers. Shout Factory released the first seven seasons on DVD in August 2012. Seasons 8 through 12 in November 2013, a 20-year collection in December 2013, and seasons 13 through 17 in April 2014. On March 22, 2012, Lionsgate Home Entertainment reached a home media distribution deal with Saban to release Power Rangers Samurai to DVD and Blu-ray. And Toys. On February 15, 2018, Saban Brands announced that their 25-year partnership with Bandai would end in 2019. The next day, it was confirmed that Hasbro would be the new Global Master toy licensee for the franchise starting in April 2019, with a future option for Hasbro to buy the entire franchise. Several comics, of course, have been made. And books in November 2018, Insight Editions released Power Rangers The Ultimate Visual History, detailing the various toys and television seasons over the franchise's 25 year run. Okay, we've got notes and see also in references. It means we're done, people. Okay, Joshish, we're done. I got through it. That was long. You got to admit, that was a long read. It was very entertaining, though. So many things have to be cut from this. You can hear the traffic in the background. Trains. There, there was a train in the background, okay? And it was... It was pretty funny. Let's just say, if I didn't edit these videos, if I just gave you guys the full cuts of these video games, it would not be suitable for all audiences, okay? I'm very vocal when it comes to my displeasure being interrupted while reading an otherwise fluid paragraph. When I'm on a roll, when I'm on a tear, and I'm just reading, you know, I'm just going on this absurdly worded run-on sentence, and I'm just hitting it, da 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 and then there's this train in the back going, I lose it, and I don't just lose it, I lose it, you know, that's where I'm supposed to curse here, but I'm not going to because this is a happy, peaceful channel where we drift off to sleep, so I shouldn't even be complaining. The reason I stopped cursing for the 38 of you that were subscribed while I was still cursing is because I found on playback I was unable to fall asleep to my videos. I can't fall asleep to cursing. It doesn't work. But when it's soft and not angry, and I'm very forgiving of Mr. Train, for example, I am able to sleep. 
if there's good vibes, if there's good juju. And so, let's leave this on a, on a good note. I laughed hysterically when I found out Malaysia banned the word morphin from Mighty Morphin Power Rangers because it sounded too close like the drug morphine. They're like, ditch it. You're saying these Power Rangers are on morphine. You're okay with that. Okay, well, not in our country. You can ditch it. Okay, that's fine. Listen, they can be on drugs, but don't tell anyone, okay? Okay, go. I'll talk to you guys in the comments. And this was fun. Have a good night. Uh, there's that train again. Happy thoughts. Happy thoughts. All right, like I said, comments. Go. Talk to me.